Welcome back. We're here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, August 16, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the gray British pound and the US dollar. And as you can see on Friday, we did rally quite significantly up towards uh, resistance at the 40 exponential moving average and uh, today we just opened here on Sunday and it's open red nothing really happening until the till Asia session European session uh, opens in a few hours so at this current stage it kind of looks like we are still just doing the same thing gradually grinding lower so we did not manage to break above the 200 moving average here even though that the US dollar fell them more than half a percent quite uh, quite significantly on Friday we did not see a massive move um, even though the US dollar depreciated so at this moment it still looks like it is going to retest the 300 moving average if we break above the 200 moving average then the 150 and two and the hundred and um, the 150 and 100 moving average uh, come into play we can see that both of those have offered massive resistant in the past we're basically in the middle here in the pool in japan uh, macd is still flat rsi is bearish cci uh, is uh, bearish and so is the stochastic so momentum is still to the downside so us dollar japanese yen it fell completely off a cliff on friday did not hit the 150 moving average and opened up in green at this current stage if we look at technical indicators we can see that we have crossed uh, below the middle of the bullish band and would not be surprising if we continue falling if the us dollar uh, continues to depreciate macd is becoming bearish rsi is a flat cgi is bearish and so is the stochastic so if we bounce off the 150 moving average it may well be that we'll go back to 110.5 otherwise breaking below the 150 opens the door to 108.7 so let's look at the euro us dollar also here on friday last friday we had a massive rally up towards the 20 exponential and then nothing happened so if we get rejected here it may well be that we'll head back towards 1170 breaking below 1170 opens the door to 1160 and if you look at the bullish band we basically hit the middle of the bullish band and then got a little bit rejected Breaking above here and a close above the middle of the bullish band, that could open the door back towards the previous highs here, roughly at 11.90. MACD is becoming bullish, RSI is bearish, CCI is flat, and the stochastic is bullish at this point. So it is um, time will say time will tell basically what where we are going here. If we break above the 50 moving average, then we are, that is very likely that we'll go towards this level here get rejected here tomorrow then it's very likely that we'll go back towards 1170 so Aussie dollar US dollar uh, it also rallied we have been trading within this very tight range for technically forever there's a lot of resistance above and uh, there's quite a lot of support down here at the 0 0.73 but at some point this has to basically break and if I were to put my money, it will basically be to the downside. US dollar did fall on on Friday, but as soon as it, it, it starts to appreciate again, then it will pressure this currency pair, as well as um, Australia is basically getting really um, hardly hit by the coronavirus, and that, of course, also will affect its economy and its currency. So it should be coming weaker, and therefore it is more plausible that this is going to drop but at the moment this level is holding this level is holding and until we basically break either way um, it's just a waiting game so when we look at the macd uh, the, the bullish band i'm sorry we are just above the middle of the bullish band so technically in the middle of nowhere at this current stage macd is um, bullish rsi is flat cci is bullish and so is the stochastic so us dollar canadian dollar nothing really happened on friday we're just right here in the middle of the 200 moving average and the 20 exponential moving average and uh, yes what you can say in bullish bond we're by right basically right in the middle uh, macd is uh, bearish at this point uh, rsi is bullish uh, cci is uh, flat and stochastic is also bearish at this point so if you look at this it kind of looks like we are trying to break towards the 300 moving average and 
if we manage to cross above that, then it's very likely that we'll go back to, to the very highs or we have a long-term um, trend change. And we did fall for more than a, a year. It was basically in a bearish where more than a year broke out. And at this current stage, it is struggling to break above the 300 moving average. If we manage to, if we break below the 100 moving average, it may well pull this market back towards this channel. Otherwise, breaking above the 300 moving average, then this will go significantly further for uh, for the long run. And that's kind of what I'm waiting for in this market. It will uh, be dependent on also where oil goes. If oil continues to rally, then this will be negative. If it basically starts to break down, then it will be positive for this. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. A link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.